This is Crimmond Raceway. It's the most northerly stock car circuit in the country. There's been a circuit here since about the 1950s. It was built on the old Crimmond Aerodrome, however, the sites had to move two or three times over the years as land's been reclaimed by the MLD. It's also where the legendary world's champion Jim Clark began his motorsport career. But we're not here today for the stock cars, because Drift Events Scotland have taken over the track for the weekend. Saturday was the main competition day for their championship, leaving Sunday morning, well, a little bit of a free-for-all. Now the ironic thing about this, I was actually up and out of the house earlier than I would be for work. What happened to getting a long lie on a Sunday morning? On my drive out of Aberdeen, I was just hoping the weather was going to improve. It was properly miserable. It's meant to be the middle of April, but this definitely felt like autumn or winter. So I grabbed some diesel, got myself a coffee, and headed north. Now, before the Aberdeen Bypass was built, this would have taken a lot longer than it did. Doesn't seem nearly as bad a journey these days. So we arrived at Crimmins, and the beauty here is you get to park trackside. And because of course we took the van, well, we had the perfect vantage point and plenty of shelter. Now, before we go any further, it goes without saying, this is going to be a bit on the loud side. In the morning, the track was run anti-clockwise. It was meant to be a bit of a warm-up. This was meant to be gentle tire warming shenanigans. Don't think anyone told the drivers that. Oh, Steve with the fuel issues. We're just gonna call him Steve. Oh, it was. Uh, uh, did you go and speak SR to him? No, sorry, I, I don't. I don't speak poor people. Well, By the way, I've left the commentary I, uh, in from the actual well, event because the commentators were hilarious. It was a spark issue. That's brilliant because I didn't do anything to it, I just left it kind of stock. It did all the reliable stuff like big end bearings, oil cooler, uh, baffled some, and those Tommy, the Tommy dick finger things that stop. Oh, the, keep the thing that keeps the car in the engine. <laughs> yeah, it stops it from doing a Brexit. And I did all that stuff and it was brilliant. Fair enough, fair enough. Um, so yeah, it was just uh, this is everybody just kind of getting dialed in, if I'm honest with you. Um, most of them are using this as a session to uh, sober up. And get back on their feet. Getting off it close and tight. Did they get too pally and you know, like come inside them? <laughs> then they slip in the back door. Oh, check the drift potential of the old proton. Thank you. 
You know, it's kind of weird. I've never sat in the back of the van. I've known since the day I bought it that you can take the middle bit out, but never really had reason to till today. It's coming really handy actually, because it's absolutely bolted for being nearly the end of April. It's like winter. Um, so yeah, it's kind of sheltered us from the wind a wee bit. It's been great. Only slight downside is I've lost the connection to the LED lights, so they're gonna have to come down again. Well, if that doesn't work, I'll give out uh, Lee's number during the lunch break. Cheers, Lee. Thanks for that. You know the Lotus X5? It literally sounds like every car from the first Fast and Furious film. With the dump valve thing, it, it, it sounds identical. Like it didn't matter if it was a Supra, it didn't matter if it was an Eclipse, it, it all sounded the same. <laughs> What's that? Oh, okay. Don't think he's got much drift in him. Now at lunchtime, they open up the track, they get all the drivers on, and you basically get to have a wander around and get a closer look at the cars. It's brilliant. Underwear can't stop a fart, and you think a mask works. <laughs> then in the afternoon, well, things got a little bit spirited. We're trying to be a, a hero for this session, might as well just, just chill out and just go back. Is bumper still on? No. And you are four times the bike. Well, I've got to kill you over that. I think I've only actually seen the drifting maybe once before. It was great fun then, it was great fun at Cremond. There's some great driving on display and one or two mishaps, which, let's be honest, we're all there for. But what do the judges make of it all? Thank you to the Ford crew. I will get your ham sandwich one day. <laughs> thank you to the marshals. Thank you to the tower team. Is that us? Thank you to Crimin Raceway. Thank you to the vans. Um, what else? Is that it? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you to the tractor. Right. That is uh, that is enough, as they say. And that will be, yeah, that will be, stir, calm it down. Yeah. 